welcome to our youtube channel math learning with tipsir and today we are going to solve a very tricky question in uh, from the theorem of circle it is usually asked at the out theorem in sc examination and today we are going to solve this and the question you can focus on the question is you can look at the figure in the figure o is the center of circle if q o d e if q o d e is a cyclic equilateral we have to prove that angle acp is equal to angle adp angle acp is equal to angle adp first we have to consider that uh, it's given the cyclic equilateral q d q o d e and we have to acknowledge that if it is a cyclic equilateral then the, all the four uh, corners of the equilateral lies in the circle so you can draw a circle here it, it can be simple you don't have to draw a circle but uh, it makes you solve easier easily and now we can proceed for the question solving first we have to according to the pattern we, we can go through the pattern right uh, in the SE examination we have to write first the like, given and how do we have to prove and other other construction and other things and first uh, start okay first the given uh, we have to consider what is given here uh, the, angle, the given things here is the si you can see cyclic quadrilateral Q O D E Q O D E is a cyclic quadrilateral so we have to acknowledge that Q O D E is a cyclic quadrilateral and what do I have to prove to prove we have to prove that angle ACP angle you can see here angle ACP this angle is equal to angle ADP angle ADP this angle so we have to prove that angle ACP is equal to angle ADP and following the procedure construction uh, to make our question simple we have to do the previous construction in the question and in this portion we can also make the construction while solving the problem but uh, we can, uh, if you are pretty sure about the construction so we can draw them uh, is uh, now uh, you can see here we have to prove that uh, angle ACP is equal to angle ADP that is uh, this angle is equal to this angle and they are standing on this uh, on the arc AC and AD so uh, in the future you might be have to draw the we have to we might have to draw the construction this line so that uh, we have we can easily show the angle uh, this this angle is the bisector and we can easily prove that so um, we, are, we are doing the construction AE AE joint ER joint now we are going to do our proof here in this page here are the statements and here are the reasons uh, these are the why we make that statement and what are the reasons about that statement okay first of all the first reason is angle AOD angle AOD this angle we have given that O is the center of circle and AOD is, is inscribed on the same arc AD about the center while the angle ACD is standing on the circumference so angle AOD is twice of angle ACD so we can write here the reason is being the inscribe angle angle on the circumference means twice no half half the angle at the center standing on the same mark 
on the same arc and what is same arc here ad so moving forward in the statement 2 we can say that angle aod is equal to angle angle aod is equal to angle ac ced here you can see this is the cyc this is the cyclic quadrilateral right this is the cyclic quadrilateral so the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral this one angle this angle becomes equals to this angle uh, you can also do the math the math is if it, suppose if this angle is x then it obviously become 180 minus x they are subordinate angle so and again uh, we have the knowledge that uh, the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral are, are always supplementary. So from that we can see that this angle AOD is equal to angle CED, otherwise QED. So B what region here? The angle AOD is equal to angle CED. The reason is being the exterior angle. Exterior angle, interior angle, opposite interior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral. Angle of cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, moving on the moving on third, we have here angle ACD. Angle ACD is equal to angle AED angle ACD you can see angle ACD is equal to angle AED they stand in the same arc ED so we have to, we can prove that angle ACD are equal to angle AED so angle ACD is equal to angle angle ACD AED angle AED standing on the same arc third standing on same arc AD okay moving on fourth we have here two angle ACD twice of angle ACD twice of angle ACD twice of angle ACD is equal to angle CED angle CED twice of angle ACD is equal to angle CED you can see in this statement in the from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 here in the 1 we have proved angle AOD is equal to twice of ACD and in 2 we have proved angle AOD is equal to angle CED so if AOD is equal to CED and AOD is twice of ACD, so we can obviously uh, take is twice of angle ACD is equal to angle CED. So from, we can write from 1 and 2. And the 5, we can write angle AEC is equal to angle AED. Good. Angle angle A E C A E C is equal to angle A E D from the region of from three and four. You can look from three and the four the angle A C E are equal to angle A E D. This this E A angle A E D. Okay. And from there we can draw that angle A C P is equal to angle A D angle A C P this angle is standing on the same arc A D is the angle A E D so angle A E D and also angle A D E A D is A D P angle a D P is equal to angle A 
E C. A E C A E C standing on the same arc. On the same arc. And we can prove now angle A D P is equal to angle A C P from here we can uh, look in the statement of 5 that AEC is equal to AED angle AEC is equal to angle AED this angle this angle and this angle are equal okay this and this angle are equal and uh, the, uh, the angle is standing in the same arc that are taken is angle ADP and ACP so they must be equal so from uh, from the from the region five and